hello <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is the first video you're seeing of me i'm sorry i have tons of other videos where i'm like really doing stuff really getting into it you know um so you should definitely go watch those watch this one too but watch those first get a little context get the backstory and then hop on back over here this video this one is for the avid viewers this one is for everyone that has been messaging me on instagram writing nice comments about how much they miss me and asking me if i'm okay wondering how my break has been going and that's what this video is i'm back but I'm different and I want to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing, why I took a break, why I'm coming back, how I'm coming back. We're going to get into all of it. So it's going to be a very chatty FaceTime style-esque video. So welcome back to my channel if you're new. Subscribe because I will be making more videos. We're going to get into all the tea. We're going to get into all the tea. But make sure you subscribe, like this video. Let's get started. Actually, before we get into that, let's put some makeup on because I think we need to do a little something here. She needs some help, so let's handle that first. Okay, just sat down to do my makeup, and I am so... You guys are going to be so proud of me. So excited to announce that this video is sponsored by Merit. You heard that right. Merit. Like Merit Beauty? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys know that I have been a huge fan of Merit for, like, years at this point absolutely over two years and i am so excited that we are finally partnering on youtube so thank you merit for sponsoring this video i'm so excited to show you guys my fall makeup look my everyday look if you will i love merit they're vegan cruelty free they're a very minimalist beauty brand which i love i love knowing that like i'm not putting too much on my face on an everyday basis and honestly that's why their new frost set is perfect it's everything that you need so the first thing i'm going to start with and one of the first things in the frost set is the great skin moisturizer it's a perfect base layer for makeup i just like this because the makeup that i do put on it will stick to it but also keep me moisturized and just be a great base for the rest of my makeup then i'm going to go in with one of my favorite merit products and that is the minimalist these are their like concealer sticks you guys first of all the shade range they match me so well this one is in the shade sepia Look, it's literally my same shade. Like the shade match is so good. So I just apply it everywhere, especially over any blemishes. I have a little pimple that um, I did pick at. Oh, I'm also using the Merit number no. one brush. This is my favorite brush. It really just <laughs> blends out too perfectly. It's too good. Okay. We are all blended out. Look how flawless my skin looks. This is the Flush Balm, and this is in the shade Mood, which it is very much a moody, deep red color, which I really like. I just applied to the apples on my cheek. Perfect. I just used the same brush to blend it out. Oh, it's perfect. It's like my skin, but better. And that's what Merit really is for me. Like, I love the way it makes me look on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so I actually just filled in my brows with the Merit Brow 1980. This is like a brow pencil I love as well. Very thin. But to lock that all in, I'm gonna use the Merit Brow 1990 in the shade Dark Brown. I just kind of brush it over, keeps my hairs in place. And because it is that dark brown color, it fills in any parts that I missed with the pencil. And this does come in the frost set as well like the face is coming to get like we could stop here but we won't but we could we're gonna go in with merit's great lash it is a blackest black mascara this mascara is actually also a tubing mascara and this is the first tubing mascara i've ever had but i get it like i get the hype like look at that look how much longer and fuller these lashes look okay we are on the last step and of course that's lips but before we get into my fave we are going to talk about what you do get in the frost set. You get a signature lip lipstick. Now there are tons of shades and all of them are so great. <sighs> Look at her. Just really get into her. Really get into it because I'm going to do a little swatch on my wrist so you guys can really get into the color here. This is in the shade fashion. Exactly. No, exactly. Right. And of course I'll be using my shade slick in the shade Mapleton because it's my favorite. Please get into the final face. This is, uh, you cannot tell me anything. This is a full face of merit. Like, this is what you can achieve. And you too can look like me by using Merit Beauty. <laughs> what I love about the frost set is that it makes actually the perfect gift. Like, this is perfect for your mom, your aunt, your brother, your sister, literally anybody who enjoys makeup and who enjoys a little bit more of a minimalist look, a little bit more of like an everyday kind of vibe. 
this is for them. Definitely check out the link below. Save $28 on this frost set from Merit and shop the products I use because you can get them individually, but you're going to save $28 if you buy them in the set. Every first order gets a free signature makeup bag and all orders over $40 get free shipping. So I want to say thank you so, so much to Merit for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you guys because without you, Merit wouldn't even know who I am. So I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you to the Merit team. So if you want to check out the Frost Set or any other Merit products that I talked about, I'll leave a link in the description below and you guys can check them out. And let's get dressed and get on with the tea because I know you guys are waiting. <laughs> okay, we are dressed and I do actually have the heater on can you believe last time you saw me I definitely was like it's so hot I'm literally dying and I was and now I'm cold so the heater's on um okay <sighs> let's get into it let's take it back to August I definitely was filming multiple videos a week then my roommate Alex had just moved out so I was living alone so I was like let me capitalize off living alone I have no idea how long this is gonna last you guys remember this I will link all these videos below because I go way more into depth about how I was feeling during that time um, in those videos. I'm just kind of gonna skim through that so we can get through like the bulk of this. Otherwise we'll be here for literally ages and we don't have the time. So my roommate moves out. I'm making hella videos. I'm like, okay, living alone series, let's get into it. I kind of talked about how financially it was burdening me a little bit, but I was like, you know, it's okay. There's also nothing I can do. I can't force anyone to move in here. So we're just gonna have to make it work for how long we're gonna have to make it work for. Um, and we did. It was great for my mental health because I loved living alone. Like I actually enjoyed being alone and being in this space. It really felt like mine. Me having to save literally all my money so that I was able to pay rent. That was the drawback from I had my own place, but I never left because I needed to save my money. Like that is so unglamorous to talk about and honestly makes me feel a little bit embarrassed, but I feel like that's a normal thing for people. Also starting to feel like my vlogs were getting, not boring because I really enjoyed them, but I just felt like I was losing, I was losing the vision and I was just making videos just to make videos. I started a podcast called Ryan's Room. Go listen to it. It's on Spotify podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. Like I was just hamster wheeling it like so hard. Um, and I was like, wait, 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 why am I doing all of this? Like, obviously I'm doing it because I love making videos and I'm doing it because to grow is, you know, you know, you got to be successful and you have to whatever, whatever. Like, yes, I know why I'm doing it, but like, why am I doing it? You know what I mean? Fortunately, Unfortunately, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't pay my bills. So taking a break felt like it was an okay thing to do because I don't rely on it to pay my bills, right? Obviously, if this was making the monies, I would be like, okay, well, we have to figure out, like we have to plan out a break ahead of time and like batch film and stuff like that. That way I can take a break, but still put out content. But anyways, it was, it's not paying my bills. It wasn't paying my bills. It still isn't. And um, I felt like it was okay for me to take a break. However, I didn't realize how much I needed the break and I didn't realize how much my mindset was going to change about creating content. I didn't realize it was going to change that much. I didn't realize it was going to change at all. I thought that I was going to take this break and come back harder than ever, know exactly what I want to do, what videos I want to make, what kind of creator I want to be, like what the plan is, I can see the end of the year, like we got it. That is so not what happened at all. <laughs> like actually kind of the opposite happened. I needed the break so, so severely, I didn't even realize it. I haven't felt good in a long time and I feel so much better than I did before and I know for a fact it's because I took a break from the internet. I was still on the internet, like I didn't delete social media, I just wasn't making any content. Um, I made a few TikToks but that was like for fun and for vibes. Um, but I feel like just the way I view social media. This is mostly about YouTube, I would say. I feel like I want I want to love YouTube forever and I want to love making videos forever and I feel like at this current stage of my life, the way to do that is to only make videos when I want to make them. Only 
film when I'm feeling really excited about a concept, about a video, about a day that I want to vlog. Like that is what I think this channel will turn into is just kind of like a journal that you pick up every now and then and you drop some gems in there and then you go on about your life. Um, I think that's what this is going to be. And I know that is not probably not what you guys want to hear. You guys probably wanted me to come back and be like, and I'm coming back harder than ever and we're getting three videos a week. I can't do that. I can't operate that way and I don't want to operate that way. I feel like I'm just not equipped to make that much content and I just don't, I just want, I want to love this forever and I want this to feel, I want it to be like passion projects and videos that I like take my time to make. I think that other thing too is I was rushing to get videos done and edit them super fast and I just, I just don't want to do that. And if that, and I, and I do understand that at some degree, if you want to be a full-time content creator, influencer, like if this is how you want to make your money, then you, you are going to have to suck it up and post and film every day, edit every day, post all the time. Like that is what your life will have to be. But since I'm not chasing that anymore, that doesn't have to be my life and I don't want it to be. Maybe you're like, oh, you're not cut out for it. And you're right. <laughs> you damn right, okay? I'm not cut out for it. That, that's, that, that's just the beauty of being able to try things and if you don't like it, stop doing it. And if you like it, you can keep going. I am really proud of all of the videos and all of the work that I have put in over the last, on and off the last almost 10 years um, of making content and I'm not gonna stop. I'm going to still make content. I love it so much and I'm so I am so inspired and I have people in my life that have encouraged me to keep going and to make content in a way that makes me feel good. I hope to keep my love for YouTube and that spark alive and I think I just have to take a few steps back from it in order to do that. And I have been putting off this video because I just I didn't want to say it because then it would be real and I don't want to let you guys down. I feel bad because I know that there are people that are like, I love your videos and I want to watch them every day, post more. And I'm like, I'm about to post so much less than I have in the last two or three years. Um, but I'm going to still post. I'm going to still post on Instagram, on TikTok, on here. I'm still going to do it. Um, it's just going to be when I'm feeling really good and really passionate about a video. And I hope that you guys understand that and... I want this to be my creative, I want this to be one of my many creative outlets and I want to just make videos for fun like I was doing before I decided I wanted a di this different life and I don't know what I want out of life um, actually at all. I have no concept of the future. Um, actually as I'm filming this, it's election day so, and I'm praying, oh God, Oh Lord help us please just don't do us dirty don't do us dirty because we can't handle it because as we as a nation will fall to pieces we're already falling to pieces so anyway that's not what this video is about <laughs> but I hope you guys understand um, I will still be posting on my podcast I'm gonna get back into that um, as well but yes I'm still gonna be podcasting I'm still gonna be posting here on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram it's just gonna be for fun and if that's something that you guys can get down with, then make sure you subscribe or stay subscribed, like this video. Comment some video ideas down below that aren't vlogs. I'm still gonna vlog here and there when I'm really feeling like it, um, but I wanna focus more on different video ideas, different concepts, more cinematic. Like, I just wanna do more um, and not feel confined to what I've always done in the past. I think that's a great thing about art and creativity is that it doesn't have to be the same thing over and over again. It could change and people don't have to like it. I don't have to worry about that anymore and I feel so relieved because I'm making videos for me and if you happen to enjoy them, that's amazing for us. I hope you guys understand and get where I'm coming from. I have missed you so much and I wanna thank each and every one of you who have been checking in on me and sending me messages and commenting on things and just still being really supportive. I really appreciate it because I could have left the face of the earth and nobody could have gave a good goddamn. So <laughs> I appreciate the people that do and I, uh, Yes, and thank you to all of my friends and family who have been supporting me behind the scenes and just checking in and 
loving on me. So I appreciate you guys as well. And I hope that you're not watching because I think I get embarrassed when my friends and family watch my YouTube videos. So if you are, don't. Thank you. But yes, I love you guys so much. Thank you again to Merit Beauty for sponsoring this video. Check out the frost set for your friends, your family, for yourself. Save $28, okay? And get a free bag. Free shipping over $40. Check out the link in my description and I will see you guys in the next video whenever that is. I love you. Bye.